Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to Motorsport Manager with me, Big Al. This is our Create Your Own Team. We're starting off in GP3 and here we go. Let's get into it. Let's create our own team. So here it is, guys. This is our team. Let's create it. So we're going to live after our uh, Big Al's... Oh, delete that. Can't spell for English, huh? Uh, sports world is there going to be enough characters that's the question yes big Al sports world okay we're going to be from the United Kingdom because guess what we're British so we got to be what style will we have for our logo for this Gotta change the colors too. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Primary color. So we're gonna have green. It's like a. It's like a. What type of green will we go for? I think we should go more of the brighter green. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, that one. Okay, apply that. Boom. Uh, green and blue is our two colors. So let's get a nice dark blue in there. Add that, apply that color. Or should we do it the other way around? What do you guys reckon? I think it looks fine like that. Now, what style are we gonna go for? Hmm. Okay, don't like that one. Don't like that. I like that one. Um cut the side. Taking too long to pick a design, aren't I? Uh, that one or the one... I think we should stick with this one. Yeah, we're going to stick with this one. Let's go to the team uniforms. Let's change it. Let's make it blue. Main color blue with the light green. Just switch it up a little for the uniforms. Apply that. That looks better. All right. Let's see what type of shirts we're gonna have. Stripey. Hmm. Whoa. On your face. Um. I like that. That'll do. And a hat. We need a hat to go with it. Oh, I think that'll go well. That will go really well. Might have to do up some. Um, Merchandise for this series. What do you guys reckon? Put your comments in the comment section. Right, let's see. We ain't gonna stick with the bog standard liveries. Let's see. What's thirty two look like? I need to see the car. Come on, show me the car. Let's go with colors. Let's go lime green with the blue. Apply that. Lime green. Oh, it's very green, isn't it? And the trim color will make it the blue so the stuff stands out. Right, don't like that one. We need a livery that really suits. Oh, hang on. Oh, let's scroll on down here. It's bound to be a, a funky. We gotta have a funky looking car for our first car, guys. Definitely need a funkier looking car. Uh, have we got a splatter one or something? Ooh, very camo. Don't want to go camo though. Are they all camo? What's this one? See, I should have pre picked this, shouldn't have, guys. I really should have. There's too, too many choices. I don't want plain either. Hmm. Now that looks mean, a little bit meaner. See, I like that. That looks nice. Because you got plenty of the blue, we got plenty of the green. Our colors are in it. Our light sponsor. I think the sponsors look quite nice the way they are. To be fair, it's a nice looking car. Not the greatest car looking in the world, but it's not too bad. 
Okay, I think we'll stick with that. That will do. It's got our co team colours. Yes, we are. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so we get banks. Okay, we got three choices. We got Root, Stonewell Bank, and the Golden Tiger. So obviously, a young Root is going to be the young growing hedge fund. So it's low pressure. We get three star chassis for the first season and a small starting fund. Uh, with the Stonewall Bank, are one of the bigger banks in Europe, and they expect big things. So they give us forty percent marketability and a medium financial fund. Well, we're going to go with low because we're going to start from the bottom because that's what we are. And here it is, guys. Big Al Sports World Racing is here and look at that there the car looks like beast from the sky above so we'll have a quick look at our drivers that it gives us for free so we got andre gomez and faith anthony with joe's domingo as our backup driver obviously awful awful drivers um joe's domingo will definitely be going out in the first year i will not be keeping her around i will probably think about changing the drivers this year I really don't know. I haven't really decided. It's nice to see that they're wearing our colors or in the white stripe. Don't know where they get that from. So the car's looking kind of bare. But this is it. We have our first first time ever here with Big Al Sports World. And Donald Trump is a guy in charge of our oversight. Can't wait to bring you back. We're level one and everything. We have new buildings available. So we got a staff center, which is going to cost us, what, five mil? That's not going to happen. I will build a scouting center because I need a scouting center. So before we go any further, let's build a scouting center. Let's get it built. Done. I know it's two million off my uh, 17 mil. It has to last me all season. But a scouting center is going to be what we need to start us off. So I will go ahead and get the pit crew in scout out some drivers see what's available change some of the staff personnel and bring you guys back in a few minutes to let you see how that's gone on see you in a couple seconds guys welcome back and as you can see we have now got a new lead designer with two daily with two star two and a bit stars with potential four we have a new race two new race mechanics one of two stars and a bit with potential of four and a half stars so hopefully she'll do the job and then Kevin Sewell who's a three star with potential five star so as you can see they're all signed in they've all just started with us and Big Al Sports World is going places now we still haven't improved our prick crew unfortunately because I've done the best I can with what I have obviously I could really could do with another tire guy with refueling on that side but there is no one really available who can do refuel and tires it's just awful left so hopefully they will find me some new pit crew members soon because I don't have any we are scouting some young drivers so we got Alex Quinn Callum Elliott and Emin Hamid being scouted at present hopefully they will uh, the scouting will be finished, well, it says there it's going to be finished in like, what, 19 to 34 days. As soon as they have, we will scout out the rest of these young drivers and see if we can find something special. So, at the minute, we've been offered one sponsor. Let's have a quick look at it. Second or above, length seven races, up front of 1.8 million and 1 million pound payout. We might get a second place within seven races. Um, I, I'll accept it. I will accept it. And we will try our best to get a second place. Now, obviously I'm building. And at the minute we are improving. If I go to my car. Where is my car? The minute we are improving some of our parts. So, we are built, we're improving the reliability of the brakes. And... The gearbox on to the cars which were quite low so they were both at 60 odd percent they're now up to 73 which is great we're improving the reliability and the performance so this gearbox is getting its reliability and its performance improved uh, engine but I, 
um, car. But we would like to build some parts. Now, ooh, wrong option. Let's click on car. Design a new part. What will we build? What will we build? What will we build? Now, do we get? Do we build two? Or, I think we should build two engines. You know. Low risk. It's going to be twelve nine, twelve point nine days after the race. Oh, six days after the race is going to be finished. It's not going to be the best, but I'll not put it on anyone's car till we get the re re reliability improved. So we're going to go top max speed of twenty five to max, top speed of fifteen, and risk level plus one. So I think that there should do the job. Let's build that part. I reckon we'll build two of them. We'll build one now. Once it's finished, we'll build a second engine, improve the both, give ourselves a top of the range engine, well, as close to the top range engine in both cars as possible for this level. And then we'll start on the next one and give two gearboxes, two lots of brakes, improve them, and try to get it going. And let's see if we can actually get ourselves to a race. There it is. Travel to Tondela. As all the messages are coming in, but we want to get a race done for you guys. Obviously, same as in the other series, I won't be taking part in practice. Will be whenever it gets to qualifying, but in practice, I won't be. So we got ourselves another sponsor here, guys. Let's just have a look and see what this company is going to offer us. So we got Firestone, fifth or above, for 10 races, one mil up front, 800,000. Yeah, we can do that. I reckon we can get 10 for above in quite a few races. An extra mil in the bank. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, in our finances, what we're going to do is set a budget for next year's car. And we're going to put 1.25 million away each race. I can handle it. So, I'll join you guys back as soon as this race practice starts. And then we'll go straight into the race for you. We are here for race day. We are not going to change anything in the car setups. Or maybe we should actually. Okay, let's quickly change for the first time ever. We'll change it for for a qualifying. So, so obviously I'm going to skip the practice sessions as I previously said. She gives me the option to simulate it. Let's simulate the session and see where we finish up. Be back in a sec. So, guys, there we have it. Practice is finished, and we ended up in 18th and 19th place in the grid. What was expected has happened. We're going to be doing. Awful in the first race of the season for Big Al Sports World, but that's all right. We can handle it. We can handle it. So let's see what what's going to happen. Let's go change up these car setups and see how they guys get on with the recommended settings. Race started. Oh, driver strategy. First lap. All out attack. We need to move up the field a little. Let's not risk it. Just just smash through the first section here. Fifth or above for 800 grand in the bank. And we are all the way down in like last, I believe. Pretty much last, yep. Well, here we go. First race at Tundela. Of the season, roll five lights are on, and it's race time. And we're off. And Anthony is off to a flyer. He's already challenging for 13th. If we go and join Anthony here, as Gomez drops down to 20th, Anthony is fought in the 13th. He was 14th. Oh, tight bend. Will everyone get through okay? Anthony is through. Anthony is through. He stays in 13th. Gomez battling for 19th. Anthony, will he hold it out for the first section? Oh, Anthony's held out nicely there. Gomez still down in 20th. He's battling away. Now we quickly fall back down to Gomez. And he is battling here for 19th against Lordini. Where Anthony is up there. And he is now down in the 14th. He is down in the 15th. As Alicia and Ericsson both leapfrog him, but he's three side by side. It's a three way down the straight, but already the power is showing compared to ourselves. 
and Anthony has dropped down to 15th. But he's still there, he's still there, he's fighting his way back. He's up against Brokolaki. And Anthony, oh, Brokolaki now has a pace down the straight. Just shows where our pace is. And Gomez is up to 19th. He's left Lordini. And can Anthony hold it out? Anthony's still up there, but we're not going to go down the medium and neutral with Anthony. As he ballot, as he takes 14th from Ericsson. But Ericsson fights back. I will do the same with Gomez. Medium and medium. We got a long race here, guys. 15 laps. We're only coming up to the second lap. And we are sitting in 15th and 19th. And nowhere near the sponsor target. Wasn't expecting to be for the first race. As Gomez is now back down to 20th. He, couldn't, he wants revenge on Lordini. Well, he's got a long way to go, Gomez, because Lordini is nowhere near him. Oh, he's back up the back end of Lordini now. Can he get past him as Anthony's dropped down to 17th? Anthony is down to 17th. He was up on 14th a second ago. It's probably because I've taken him off attack, haven't I? Yeah, they're all still on attack, you see. That's okay. I want to go an extra lap if I can compared to everyone else. Tire pressure needs to go up. So we'll push a little on both drivers to get the tire pre pressure back up, temperature back up, because we're now sitting 18th and 19th, or sorry, 19th and 20th. After the second lap, we are all the way back to where we basically started on the grid, or, well, where we should have started on the grid. Not the best first start of the race. Let's speed it up the 12 times, get through this race slightly faster for you guys. Obviously, if you guys want me to go a bit slower, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll slow the races down. Anthony, Gomez is taking Anthony now, and Gomez is going for it. Let's join on board with Gomez for a little bit. We've been on Anthony for a while. Gomez is chasing down Hubert. Lordini's up to 17th. And Fukuzumi is flying in the lead. And Gomez and Anthony are going to fight it out, I reckon. But we got three laps left. Both I don't want both cars coming in at the same time. So, let's let Gomez, who's now in front, go a bit harder on it. And let Anthony stay out there for an extra lap. So, we'll tell Anthony to conserve his fuel. Look after his tires. And we'll let Gomez battle it out with them as Gomez takes 18th. Unbelievable driving there by Gomez past Dennis. And now he's attack he's going forward for Hubert again. Gomez is on fire, but oh Dennis retakes him. Exciting stuff here. And then Gomez goes up the inside again, and this time will he make a stick? Dennis comes back out down the front straight and oh Gomez made a stick, but Dennis is coming back up the inside. No he doesn't. Gomez holds it out. And Gomez is trying now to pull away. He's got two lap laps left in the tank. He will be pitting at the end of this lap. We will bring him in at the end of this lap. Let's give him that. Let's fill him right up. His parts are looking good. Okay, now do we go for a fat? We'll go with a balanced pit stop for the first pit stop. Gomez is flying up. He's past 17th. He's gone past Hubert. But Hubert will fight back. Gomez leaves him sitting for dead. And now he chases down Polzini. Gomez chasing down Polzini in 16th. And he's on the other side of him. But no, he, Polzini gets away. Gomez is going for it. And he's dropped back down to 18th. As Hubert comes back. And then Gomez retakes him. And he comes both into the pits. This is where it comes fast. Now, Anthony, we're going to make him go full out attack. Has he gone past the pit lane? Yes, he has. He's going to pit this lap. Anthony's going to pit this lap. Same options. Fuel, fill it right up. Park condition. Looking good, looking good. But we're going to go with a fast pit stop to see if Anthony can get out. 
And Anthony now. What can he do from 13th? Will he take 12th? Anthony closing in as they're all battling in front of him. As Gomez comes out in 19th, he's out in front of Pulsini. Which is a good news for us, but we'll now make him go medium and neutral. He doesn't need to push. He can hold, just cruise along now. As Anthony is battling away, but he's now getting left behind as Dennis pulls away from Anthony. Anthony's driving skills is not the greatest in this race, is he? He's on low fuel, but that's all right. He's coming into the pits right now. As we go on board with Gomez. Where is Gomez? And there's already cars being fixed. Lacey's car is getting fixed in the pits. Calder's car is getting fixed. And Lardini's car are all being repaired in the pits. As Gomez is up to 11th. But he'll drop back down to 12th. As Ericsson overtakes him. Who's just been repaired. And there we go. Gomez needs to get out of his way. As Anthony's in 13th. I don't mind my racers battling. There's no team orders in my team. No team orders. Just race it out, lads. Just race it out. I don't care if they become rivals. That's more more exciting that way for you guys. As Anthony is down in 14th. No, no, no. Son of a... I assume I say son of a bitch. Because Gunther has taken Anthony. But that's okay. Gomez is holding him up nicely. He will lose the spot. He does. Gunther gets past him. It was to be expected. 13th and 14th on the track. We got three laps left in Gomez's car. So let's go. Overtaking mode now for Gomez. What's his park condition looking like? Oh yeah. Let's let Gomez go for it now as he's battling away here with 14th place with it's Gomez and Dennis battling it out. If we can get a, another lap out of this set of tires and this fuel for the Gomez and then get him in the pits at the end of this lap. And he has taken Dennis. So this next lap he's going to pit again. No set of super softs. How many laps is left? Seven. Oh. Oh. Park condition's good. But we're going to have to go for a fast pit stop. Yes, he's going to have to do another stop for fuel. As I ask him to now go and conserve his fuel and conserve his tyres. I want Anthony to go two extra laps over Gomez. Gomez is pushing down now for 12th as he chases down Gunther. I need, go I need Anthony to go out for an extra full lap. He's, he's complaining about it. It's hurting his engine. It is indeed hurting his engine, but he's going in the pits after this. Do we repair the engine while he's in? Too late. He's coming in. And we'll go back on board now with Anthony, who's on conserve and low fuel as he goes past the pits. And he's now up to 12th in the, in the race now, Anthony. 13th closing in. Pulsini is closing in on him. But Pulsini is going to have to pit soon because his tyres are nearly gone. Anthony, I'm trying to get another full lap out of if I can. If I can get 10 laps out of Anthony, I will be delighted. He's on lap 9. He's got 2.81 laps left. He's on conserve and low fuel. So he's asked to conserve his fuel. And now we will do the same with Gomez. I don't think Gomez will make it. I think Gomez is going to have to come in for a fuel stop at some point. <coughs> so, one lap left for Anthony. As he's up now up to 10th. He's going to pit at the end of this lap. And we will now. He's got five laps left. He will literally have enough to go through to the end of the race. And we will literally do another fast stop with Anthony. As he's now up the 10th. Bit of clear air in front of him. Clear air behind him at the minute. He's looking good. He's looking good. As we go all the way back here to 18th with Gomez. Who has Hubert closing him down. But Hubert's going to have to pit soon. 
I would say Hubert's going to pick this lap, to be honest. As Gomez is going really, really well, too. Now, he's got four laps left in the tank. If I get 12 laps, bring him in and f just give him a fuel stop and then push it right to the end of the race, we might be all right. That, I think that's going to be my strategy. As Anthony's now in the pits. Five laps remaining. And Gomez goes past him to take up into 15th now in the table. Gomez has three laps left in the tank. He's going to have to stop for a third time, unfortunately, just for fuel, though. It will literally be just fuel. Zero mistakes made again by our team. That is fantastic news. The pit crew doing their job. Can we get 12 laps out of his fuel and then bring him in and fill him up with three laps and then let him go for it a little? Don't want to run out of fuel. Gomez is under pressure by Pulsini now. He's just gone past him. He's on fresh tyres as well. But uh, there's not much we can do about it because I've got to think about which lap. Okay, so he's going to come in this lap. He's got three laps of fuel. No tires are required. The tires will last. So if I give him four laps of fuel, that should get him through to the end of the race. He doesn't... Well, he's just going to have to risk it because I ain't changing anything else. So going to be a four-second pit stop for Gomez at the end of this. So let's let him burn the fuel. He's got... Oh, no, no, we won't, we won't. We need him to see the end of the race, don't we? So we'll leave it on low. And Anthony in 16th will probably finish the race on what he has. He's got a couple of laps left. He can now push on his tyres. He can go to medium on the fuel. He's got enough to last. Anthony, so he has. Gomez is going to be coming into the pits this lap. To get enough fuel to see to the end. And then he'll be given the same. There he is. He's in the pits. Unfortunately, it's going to be a terrible race for Gomez. Bad layout by me. My fault. He's done in 17th. By the time he comes out, he'll probably be 19th, 20th. It was his third pit stop. He can now go on medium and push. He might as well just go for it now. Yeah, tough. Run it out. If you break down, you break down, Gomez. We're not going to worry. Anthony's still got a little bit of a gap between him and Alessi, who's one of the better drivers. And he should be able to hold this now, I hope. But it looks like Alessi's on an attack mode. He's on the better tyre, I would say. Medium tyres go a bit further. But they burn up quicker, too. And we got... We're on the lap 14 of 15. Two laps left. Anthony's now up to 10th in the table, but he's not going to make the top five. Two laps left. The last lap, I'll tell him to go all at it. He might as well. And if he if we break down, we break down. There's no harm in risking it. He's still keeping a lacy behind him, which is good news. Gomez is still down in 17th. He's slowly catching Hubert. There it is, it's the final lap. Once he can pass that checker flag, it will literally be. And gearbox is gone for. The gearbox is gone on Gomez's car. And as soon as Anthony comes past the start and finish lap line for this final lap, he's going to be told, go for it. You got two laps left, it's your last lap. Bang it out, son. Let's see where Gomez is. Oh, he's already on his last lap too. Just go for it, kid. His engine's his engine's going. Oh, he's got a gearbox failure any minute. He'll just have to do it. He's on the final lap. He's seventeenth. If he can just finish the race, it'll be a, it'll be a something sh fantastic. Fizet, oh, sorry, Fukuzumi has won the race. PK second, Schumacher third, podium finished. Anthony looks like he might come in in 10th. Gomez has got a good gap between him and 18th. It's Calderon. 
And Anthony has held it off for Lacey. Good job indeed. Fantastic result for him. Gomez not so good. He's got to bring it in in 17th. 10th and 17th. That's good enough. Yes, we do need to be doing better with you, Gomez. But you did have a gearbox failure right at the end. And there we have it. Fukuzumi, the Japanese driver, has won the Grand Prix with PK and Schumacher second and third, respectively. But we got 10th in the, in the race, which is fantastic for our first race out, considering we started so far down the grid. 17th, not great, but if we had a target of 16th, we would have been much better. So this is just how the tyres on... Oh, autosave... So this is how everyone did the tyres, two stops, he started off with super sauce, went on the mediums and finished on super soft for second stop. Unfortunately, I had the, we got two stops out of Anthony, unfortunately I didn't do it right with Gomez, he only got, he ended up doing a three stop, which is what killed him really in the end. If he had only done a two stop, he probably would have been in the top 13, but that was my fault. Driver championship now, it should give us. Scrutineering first. We haven't broke any rules. We haven't changed anything on the car yet. But a fantastic first race for us, in my opinion. With the Big Al Sports World brand. No rules broken, of course not. We don't break rules. Well, we do, but they'll never know. So there you go. Anthony's on 11 points. That's good news. Let's see where we are team wise. We are 10th in, in the. T no, that's 10th in the championship. Where is the Constructors' Championship? So we're up to 7th already. We are predicted to finish 10th. We're up to 7th after one race out of 8. That's where we need to be. And that's how we like it, guys. That's how we like it. If we can keep that up, I'll be happy if we finish the first season in 7th in the championship. We're predicted to finish 10th. We finish 7th. We can build from there. And next season, go and take this championship by storm with better drivers better car because remember we're putting 1.25 million away each race towards a better car for next season so we will have a better car next season so guys that's the end of this episode of create your own team big al sports world if you liked it thumbs up if you've enjoyed our this series subscribe make sure you check out our other motorsport manager and our other options on the channel we have football manager on there and we're gonna have some new special content coming out very very soon so again guys if you've enjoyed it thank you very much been a pleasure as always look forward to seeing you in the next one take it easy bye